In this week's video, I'm going to explain my step-by-step -step YouTube video production workflow that will enable you to keep on top of your video output every week without it taking up too much of your time. So hit that subscribe button and notification bell if you're excited to dive into the video and we'll get started straight after this. Okay, before we start, here's my high-level blueprint of the entire system of setting up a successful money-making YouTube channel from scratch. And to make it easier for you, you can download it. The link is below this video. It will build as we go through each episode. As you can see, ongoing video production and publishing is the second part of stage three, build. This is episode 10. The links to the previous nine episodes are below this video. Okay, let's get into this then. I believe that having a YouTube video production workflow is key to the success of your YouTube channel. Unfortunately, it's also the most time intensive element too. So if you don't plan carefully, it's easy to miss your deadlines. Therefore, a video production workflow is key and I'm going to take you through mine. I'll take you through each step so you can modify it to suit your own circumstances. We produce two videos per week, so again, adjust the workflow to suit your weekly video output. Our production workflow is detailed on a Google worksheet. Here's a screenshot of it. There are 10 steps to the production workflow, which are all listed on the left under the title of production. Let me take you through each one. Step one is keyword research. Until your YouTube channel is well established, it's very important that your first step with your video production is keyword research. You have to get your videos watched and the best way to do that is to base each one around keywords that are ideally searched on frequently and simultaneously don't have much competition. I use a great tool called Tube Buddy. It's a paid tool, but well worth it. I've put the link to it below this video in the resource section. It shows you the volume of searches made each month on each keyword you enter and shows you how competitive the keyword is. That means you're not guessing. For example, here's a screenshot showing part of the research I did for this video. Notice the keyword is YouTube video production workflow. TubeBuddy is telling me that the search volume is fair, the competition is very good, and overall its scores are very high, 73. I would then research other similar keywords and decide which keyword would be my primary keyword. In this case, it is YouTube video production workflow, and then decide on the secondary keywords. For example, video production workflow, YouTube workflow, and so on. This is all part of your YouTube SEO or search engine optimization. And because it's such an important topic, I've created a video on YouTube SEO to help you and put the link to it below. Step two is to then write the script. Of all 10 steps, this is the most time consuming part, but it's the most important too, as the more time you spend here will repay you back many fold. Clearly central to your script is the primary keyword you chose in step one. Your script should explain to the viewer how they can achieve the result they're seeking. Don't see your script as just one big task. Break it down into bite-sized steps, tactics or strategies, and that way you can build the script piece by piece. Plus, by breaking the script down into steps, it makes it easier to consume, so you win on both counts. It's important you mention your primary and secondary keywords throughout your script, because YouTube has machines that actually listen to your video and will rank it based on how aligned the video is to your keyword tags. Obviously, YouTube wants your video to match the search of their user, and the more closely aligned to the keyword, then the higher YouTube will rank your video. Step three is to then record the video. There are, of course, many facets to this, such as choosing your background, your mic, video camera, and so on. My video titled How to Make a YouTube Video will help you here. The link is below this video. Step four is to then edit, render, and produce the video. You'll need video editing software for this so you can remove the mistakes and seamlessly mash the video together. We use Camtasia, but there are many more different editing software applications you can use, such as Adobe Premiere Pro and so on. I've put the links to some of the most popular under this video. It's important your video looks good, but don't add too many bells and whistles. As long as your script is good, then you should keep your production simple. Step five is to write your video title and description. Your title and description are important because YouTube again uses them to rank your video. Ideally, you should include your primary keyword in your title and description at least once and sprinkle one or two secondary keywords into your description. 
You also want to make your title and description as enticing as possible because people will read your title and then your description and that will determine if they click on your video or not. Once again, this forms part of YouTube SEO and the link to the video is below. Step six is to create your thumbnail. It's important you create your own thumbnail and don't use one that YouTube creates from your video. A striking thumbnail will once again help your video get clicked and watched, which will alert YouTube to rank your video higher. I keep my thumbnail simple and I use a color scheme that stands out. As you can see here, for our business mentoring videos, I use a green theme and for our YouTube channel videos, we use a blue theme. I put the title of the video in large type on the left of the video so it's clear what the video is about. Step seven is to then publish the video on your YouTube channel. You should set it to private until you start promoting your video because the first 24 hours of launching your video is critical in getting the video ranked. At this point you'll be adding your title, description, keyword tags and thumbnail. Step eight is to create your end screen. In YouTube Studio, simply choose your video and go to editing. Select create end screen and YouTube will enable you to create your end screen, which will show at the end of your video like this. You can show up to three previous videos, your subscribe button and playlists. Your end screen has one primary objective and that's to get people to watch more of your videos. The more people consume your videos, the higher YouTube will rank them. So your end screen really is important. Step nine is to set your status from private to public. Only do this once you're ready to promote your video. And finally, step 10 is to pin a comment to your video. You can obviously only do this once your video is set to public. Simply click on the video link, hit the like button, and then add a comment under the video. Remember, your overall strategy in having a YouTube channel is to increase the sales of your business. So it makes sense to add a link to your landing page in the comment. Here's an example of one of my pinned comments for our business mentoring program. So that's the YouTube video production workflow. It's a time consuming process, but as I said at the start, it's worth it, especially if every day you're driving sales to your business. This is a screenshot showing the average time we spend on the entire process. As you can see, each video takes us almost five hours to produce. So with two videos per week, that's 10 hours, not including the time it takes to promote each video. It's a hefty commitment, but remember, each video you publish on your channel will be there forever, helping drive traffic and sales into your business. And each video will feed all your other social media platforms, which will significantly reduce the time spent on creating content. And that's it for today. Now, if you want to take this, unlock your skills, experience and expertise and use it to build a successful mentoring business, you've got to register for our free masterclass training. You can check it out at the link below this video. It's called businessmentoringsystem.com and make sure you register now to grab your seat. During the masterclass, I show you how to quickly acquire a steady stream of £400, dollars or euros an hour mentoring clients. Alternatively, if you're running a business and you're looking to grow it faster in the next 12 months than ever before and do it without spending a penny more than you're doing right now, you can register free for my business growth formula masterclass. Details again are below this video. And if you like this video and you found it helpful, please share it with your friends and colleagues, hit the like button, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell because I'm posting one new video on how to start and build a successful YouTube channel every week. Also in the comments section below, let me know what your big takeaway was from this video. And if you have a request for a video, please let me know. And finally, remember growing your business isn't rocket science, but it is a science. I'll see you again next time.